Welcome to Jurgen's Journeys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hello, YouTubers. Today on Jurgen's Journeys, I want to show you how I keep my camping trailer safe. Uh, of course, we're always conscious of safety on the road, but when you're not using your trailer or when you're boondocking or leaving your trailer for outings and things like that, how do you keep your trailer safe? What's to keep someone from backing up to your trailer, hooking it up to their pickup and rolling away with everything you have inside and with a valuable unit? This would be uh, fairly um, easy to do and that's why it's done so often. I'll tell you a little later what your odds are of having your trailer stolen. Now, of course, I don't have the greatest, most expensive trailer on the road, but it's still mine and I don't want it stolen. So here's what I do. Uh, there are several things I think about to keep my trailer safe. One is where I keep it. Now, I think the best place to keep a trailer is out of sight. If, uh, if you can, I keep mine in a shed with a tarp down in front of the, uh, the front of the carport and you, you can't even see what's in there. So that keeps people who are cruising looking for uh, something to steal. <laughs> they, they, can't, they don't even know it's there. So, you know, that helps to protect it. But not everybody has a shed they can put their camper in. Some have to park it on the street or in a driveway close to the road. So uh, there are other things you can do, like uh, wheel locks, uh, those X chalk um, stabilizers for the wheels, you can lock them up. Uh, you can get uh, tracking devices, you can get um, uh, cameras, you know, uh, surveillance cameras. Uh, I mean, there are a lot of different things you can do, but the single best thing that I believe you can do to secure your trailer is to put a good coupler lock on your trailer. And that's what I'm going to show you today. I've chosen the Proven Industries coupler lock for my trailer. Now, the reason I chose the Proven Industries coupler lock is uh, because, first of all, it's, uh, it's easy to get. Amazon has it, uh, and Amazon's great on returns. If you don't get the right one, uh, you can send it back. And it is important to size it just for your specific trailer coupler. There are different kinds of couplers, so they make different models of these coupler locks. And I bought one that's specific to this style of coupler. Uh, so I like getting it from Amazon. I like the uh, Proven Industries coupler lock um, because it uh, you can't cut it. I mean, you can't pry it off, you can't beat it off, it, you can't take a grinder and grind it off. I mean, uh, you, you about have to have a cutting torch, set out a, drag out a bunch of equipment to cut this thing off. I'm going to show you in this video how the coupler lock goes on and how it looks and how it operates. I'm also going to show you how I unbox it then you judge for yourself what you think. This is a, I think it's an excellent lock and um, I'll show it to you right now. Okay, so here it is. Ah, it's a hefty thing. And uh, the reason I'm unboxing this for you is just in case you need to send it back, you'll already have a little video of what the box looks like. That's what I always do when I buy something. I make a little video on how to unpack it so that in case I have to send it back, I don't have any problems putting it back in the box because sometimes that can be confusing. So there's a uh, key number card. You can save your key number. This uh, coupler lock is for this particular style of coupler. And uh, mine is a two and five sixteenths coupler. And uh, this should fit it exactly. So inside the box, we have the puck lock. And in, then there's the insert 
All right, this is the part that goes where your where the ball of your hitch goes up in there. That that goes up into the coupler like that, and this is where the lock fits, I think. And then the only other thing is the outside. Ugh. So that's the heavy duty casing that holds all this stuff together. All right, now this, this is a giant steel tube. It's not a casting. It's welded with plate steel. This is 3 16 steel. Weighs quite a bit. I don't know exactly how much. I think uh, I better not guess. But anyway, that goes that goes inside of there. And that's where the lock goes. Let's have a look at that lock. Alright, we've got two very unique keys. And this is the puck lock. It has a little plunge lock right there and your little tongue from in here fits right up in that. And I mean, you cannot cut this thing off, I'm telling you. It'll take a torch to cut this thing off. Oh, and I remember I told you I would tell you what your odds are of having your camper stolen. Not real good uh, statistics on that number because trailers and cars are all lumped together in vehicle theft but best I could determine um, they say that uh, your chances of having your rig stolen are 1 in 16 that's about 6 percent 6 6 out of 100 or 1 out of 16 roughly uh, so every 16th person gets their trailer stolen anyway here's how the key works there's the uh, keyhole okay twist say and that brings the puck lock down so that's it let's go outside and try this thing on all right here we go now off with the little lock that uh, keep an honest fella out but won't do much for a criminal. I'm gonna use it to secure the chains. Cause I guess somebody could drag this thing off with these chains if they can get them hooked on. Then comes the inside part. This here, all right. Open this up, put that in and hold it now now the body of the lock slips right over that and that latches right there now the puck lock Ah, I need th didn't realize I need three hands for this. I'll figure it out. This is the first time trying this. Anyway, we've got it open. The pin is dropped. Now, the pin goes right over that and it plunges. Turn the key. Pull the key out. And there you have it. Now this thing is not coming off. And this is not a key you can find at any local hardware store. So yeah, I'm real happy with this. So that's it for today's Tips for Trips. I'm glad you could join me and hope you got something out of this. If you did, uh, be sure and hit that thumbs up, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do that. Uh, the link to this uh, Proven Industries coupler lock is down in the description below in case you're interested in, in looking further into that. And uh, regardless, 
Until we see you again, may all your journeys be safe, and may God bless you.